Okay, so this is the particle project in 3D. It's a similar structure to the previous uh, 2D project. The difference here, uh, essential, is that, that we're using open frameworks uh, to be able to use 3D since the, the 2D version on P5.js. Uh, it, it's using Canvas. I'm, I'm not sure whether it would allow 3D. At least it did not at the time. I was working in, on it. Um, but yeah, this is open frameworks, very stable. Uh, C++ library, sister to P5.js. And I'll start, I guess, by running the project. We can see this building. And we can see that there's a bunch of particles and they're being attracted to some center. We have a sphere here to help us out understand better the depth of the three dimensions. We can see the moment in, into the depth, sideways, etc. I could, uh, to help visualize it better, for example, I could uh, set the attractors to, to zero. Right, and uh, it's acceleration, and what it'll do, it'll, the attractors will be static now, and the static attractors, yeah, I guess it's maybe easier to perceive what where the center is at, especially if we make it closer. Right, and we can see that we're moving in three dimensions. Though the, the moment it's a lot of the times two dimensional, but it's okay. I just wanted to see three dimensions involved. I could show also the attractors here uh, when it's static. We could show the spheres as the centers. <laughs> They're off the colors, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, we could also add the movement back again, the acceleration. And Just this place a little bit of what is going on. If I were to remove this again, not this plane, and I can uh, move the sphere as well, uh, the, the larger space sphere, I guess. And uh, maybe harder to appreciate the depth, but you can see they move different planes. And I believe that's all I have for now.